Are you tired of creating YouTube videos that do not rank or get views they deserve? In this video, I am going to reveal the secret to find untapped keywords that no one else is targeting. Imagine being the first one to discover keywords that have a decent search volume but zero competition. This is the game changer that can boost your ranking and get your content noticed. Whether you are just starting out or trying to grow your channel, learning how to find these hidden gems will give you a massive advantage. Stick around as we break down the best strategies and tools to uncover these untapped keywords like no one else. If you are wondering, with so few subscribers, why am I even talking about YouTube growth? Let me clear that up. This is actually my second channel. My first one, Solitaire Investment, is just 4 months old but already has 6,300 subscribers and is fully monetized. My name is Dwaipan and for the last 4 years, my wife and I have been running a successful ACO company. We never planned on starting a YouTube channel since we were focused on blogs. But if you have been keeping up with website ACO, you will know that with back-to-back -back Google Core updates and Google collaboration with Reddit, the landscape has changed drastically. ACO for websites isn't as lucrative as it used to be, which is why we transitioned to YouTube. Let me share my screen now and I promise by end of this video, you will learn something no one else has ever told you before. But before that, let me tell you that this is a series of three videos. This is part one where I will show you how to find keywords. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out the other two videos. The name is Solitaire Investment and it has been just four months old. I haven't got a lot of views so far, but I have enough views to get the channel monetized. The lady you see here in all the images, she's my wife. And uh, what I want to show you is this number. Can you see? Solitaire Investment 1000 per month and there's a dollar sign. So these are the tools you require if you want to grow your ACO. Now let me show you some of the videos. So this is one of the videos where she's talking about no verification instant check cashing apps 2024 guidelines. What you see here is how we write the description, the keywords, and most important, the tags. So you can see that we are ranking on all these tags. Now let me clarify, tags are not keywords. Keywords are different than tags are different. However, if you can ensure that this column, if you can put your keywords, you have a better chance to rank in the search engine. So let us try this caching apps where it shows I am ranking number one in the YouTube search results. As you can see, I am ranking number one here with just 6.83 thousand subscribers. However, there are big channels here who have more views than me, but I am still ranking. You can see here everywhere I am ranking quite high in the YouTube search term. We're talking about life insurance loans where I'm ranking number three. So what is important here is how I find these keywords, how I might, uh, write the description, how I do things so that all my keywords start ranking in the Google search term. I am using the paid version, but honestly, this, this tool has lots of limitations. So you can see when I go here, there is a keyword option here. So it doesn't matter whatever is your niche. Let's say your niche is cooking. So you can write the seed term cooking and it will give you some related keywords. And here is a competition. So you can see like all these keywords where it is mentioned what is the related score the score is based on the how many people are looking for it against how many videos are available on this one. So we can see that in food science, it is showing a low competition keyword. These are the keywords which this tool is showing, VidIQ. And so far, VidIQ and uh, TubeBuddy has been the two biggest YouTube search tools in the market. But actually, whatever is showing may not be the correct. Let me break it down in another way. MasterChef is showing a very good keyword 66 is the number. So let me click on MasterChef. MasterChef Turkey, MasterChef Canada, where to watch MasterChef India, Session 7. These are all the key terms they are used. So let me show you what I actually use. I use something called reverse engineering. I believe on a simple formula. If a keyword is searched in Google, it will also be searched in YouTube because YouTube is also another search engine. So let me take you how I do my keyword. Research. I am not saying that QBuddy or VidIQ is bad. However, if you have a tool which exactly tells you which keyword to target, which has the least competition, 
so that as soon as you publish, within the next two or three seconds, you rank number one, two or three in the search term. For that, I use a tool called Shameless. Shameless I have been using for a long time. So what I'm trying to show you that how you will research this tool. First of all, this tool is not typically made for YouTube. This is mainly for Google. Because we were running our SEO business, we had to rank on keywords in Google search, not YouTube. YouTube is very new to us. So we used to find some weak websites and Quora.com is one of them. Now, when I say weak website, doesn't mean that Quora is a weak website or it's a small website, it's a very big website. But when it comes to the eyes of Google, Google doesn't like competition and they don't want to rank websites like Quora, LinkedIn, Instagram on search terms. So if a website like Quora is ranking on a search term, if I target that for my YouTube video, will it help? Let's see. So. Here, I'm trying to analyze Quora.com. Click Quora.com. It says how much traffic it has got and what is happening with the site and how much traffic they're generating from different uh, countries. I am not interested in all of this because right now I am not doing the SEO for a website. I'm only doing SEO for my YouTube channel. So I come to the keywords. Now let's find a niche. Let's say you are into cooking. So you will always find terms related to cooking. You know, how to cook this, how to cook that. You are a food vlogger. You are showing people how to cook different dishes. I have come here and this is the fun of this tool. The best part is here you can target keywords based on countries. You see, US has 101 million views a month. India has 14.3 million views a month. If you are want to target a specific country, this tool will help you. What I am going to do from here, I will go to the advanced filters. I am trying to find a keyword about cooking. So I put cook, cooking, how to book include keywords contain this so it has already listed the keywords where Quora is ranking in google search engine on these keywords now i want to narrow it down to the top three positions so that i ensure that Quora is ranking in one two three in these search terms so what they're saying how to clean no i'm not interested cook lobster meat free delivery i'm not interested how long is cooked chicken good for in the fridge so this one is a quite a long tail keyword, which has an 18.1 thousand search term per month. So let us copy this and what I will do, I will paste it here. This keyword has a 49,500 searches per month. The CPC is around 0 0.01 dollars. And now the question is how easy or difficult is to rank on this keyword. So let me copy the keyword and do a control F. So I want to see how many videos are ranking on this exact phrase so let us see it says zero out of seven so there are seven times this word has been used in this first page of youtube search so what is the first one the first one is this one he has published it two months ago and he has only got two views the next one is his description we have found only one video so far the third one is my keywords everywhere this is another tool which i am using which is telling the number of search volumes and what is the cpc what is the rpm of this kind of keywords Fourth one is again, same key, uh, keywords everywhere. Fifth one is VidIQ, which is not a video. Sixth one is TubeBuddy. Seventh one is my question. So you see that only one video has so far worked on this keyword, which has a 49,500 volume. And this video is only for 21 seconds. The video is a very basic video with some stock image and some write-ups with some background music. There is no real video on this keyword. So once you do a proper video on this keyword, you will definitely rank at least number two. Most probably will rank number one because this video is just 24 seconds. So you can easily make a video for like a, like a five minutes or 10 minutes. Uh, you can explain the pros and cons of keeping the cooked chicken in the fridge, how it spoils, how to keep it fresh for a long time, what marination you can use before cooking the chicken. And you can beat this video. If not, at least to ensure that you will rank at number two in the search term because there's only one video targeting this keyword. So now that's the end of this video and I believe you've understood something about how I do keyword research and how to find keywords that has never been targeted. This kind of keywords is very difficult to find in TubeBuddy or VidIQ. So thank you for watching the video. Wait for our next video, which again, I will do a little bit more research on this kind of keywords. Thank you.